Yes, yeah, so it, uh, it, it enables our long range communication. What's important about today is actually uh, the unit, the battalion that is in charge of this high Mars unit is actually at Fort Bragg, North Carolina right now. Uh, and so the communications will go from Camp Lejeune to Fort Bragg. And then uh, our battalion at Fort Bragg will actually send the mission to the high Mars unit here at Camp Lejeune. Uh, so it, it enables our long range communication uh, from here three hours away. Uh, and so it's, it's good for our, not only our communication Marines, but our, our Marines here in the, in the artillery unit to, to utilize those uh, communication assets. It can be done here um, at, in North Carolina on the East Coast. We do it in 29 Palms as well. We do it overseas uh, in the Middle East. We've done it uh, in the Middle East. We can do it um, in a, uh, you know, in an island type environment, um, uh, land and sea. Uh, and the one thing that's important is this is the first time that uh, 10th Marines has done this with rocket artillery uh, and it is now a capability here at Camp Lejeune that will stay here uh, and be with 10th Marines as an organic capability which we haven't had in the past. It can be done here um, at, in North Carolina on the East Coast. We do it in 29 Palms as well. We do it overseas uh, in the Middle East. We've done it uh, in the Middle East. We can do it um, in an uh, you know, island type environment, um, uh, land and sea. Uh, and the one thing that's important is this is the first time that uh, 10th Marines has done this with rocket artillery uh, and it is now a capability here at Camp Lejeune that will stay here uh, and be with 10th Marines as an organic capability, which we haven't had in the past. Yeah, so before we only had them at Camp Pendleton and at our uh, reserve regiment down in Texas. Uh, so this is the first time 10th Marines has it where we can now support uh, units in 2 MEF. Uh, throughout the globe uh, with, uh, with the rocket artillery capability. But with Force Design 2030s um, coming online with, uh, uh, with the artillery community, we're, we're going to have more rocket capability, more rocket artillery. has a much longer range and it's much more accurate. Um, we'll still have a cannon capability uh, to support uh, infantry maneuver, uh, but, but this gives a much longer range capability to support Marines uh, throughout the globe and uh, it's a longer, longer range, longer communications and, uh, and a more accurate weapon system. Absolutely. Uh, so I'm confident because uh, when I first got here, we were a new team. And just over the couple of months, we've vastly improved in everything from camaraderie to team building skills up to the basic to advanced level task. We've came a long ways. And right now we're just we're ready to do this. It's finally about that time. The Marines need it. Everybody needs this. And it's just it's a good display to show the new capabilities that we can provide on the East Coast. Uh, long range precision fires with artillery. So uh, generally we use cannons. It's uh, not as accurate and uh, we can't really range as far. This provides uh, that new depth to the battlefield for us. Uh, just in general, just having this extra capability, uh, whenever we actually do get targets that are uh, pretty much way beyond in the distance, it allows us to precisely impact and make strikes on targets that just need to be strictly hit on, rather than having uh, more uh, just accidental casualties, uh, infrastructure, survivability. We can just hit exactly what we need to on time with extreme precision. Uh, this year, my focus is just uh, pretty much making sure that I'm doing what I need to do for my team and make sure that the Marines beneath me and under my charge have full faith in me so that I can lead them to success with this, with this mission. Air battery stood up on September 27th of last year. There was a lot of work that happened before that, but essentially what we've done is we've taken some expertise from 5th Battalion, 11th Marines uh, in the High Mars community over there. High Mars being the launcher that we work with, you'll see firing today. Uh, and we've worked since then to get these launchers and the platoon and the Marines fully operationally capable. And this is the culmination of all that work. So today you'll see a Mike 142 high mobility artillery rocket system. It is on a uh, five ton army chassis and it's got a launcher module on the back. Uh, today we're shooting the Mike 28 Alpha 1 reduced range practice rocket. Uh, our other rockets go much further, but this one essentially validates the capability of the launcher to fire, generate safe data, um, and get a rocket onto target. Uh, so you'll be seeing six rockets fly out from right over there through the tree line. Uh, we are standing on sort of the safe edge of that area right now. Uh, the HIMARS system brings in a lot of different types of rockets, um, and most of those focus on a lot of precision. So the launcher will has um, fifth order survey data to know where it's at. And then if we get good data of where the target location is at, that rocket should be landing um, exactly where you tell it within three meters. 
Now, the reduced range practice rocket uh, is a little bit different, but that's the rockets that we normally work with in some sort of combat scenario. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Force Design is going very heavy on uh, rocket artillery in general. So, HIMARS has been around since, I think, 2011. Uh, the Marine Corps started using it over in 1st Marine Expeditionary Force. Um, we decided to start bringing this capability uh, out further to help with the force design missions of distributed operations, having launchers in areas far away from necessarily where the supported unit is or from where the targets may be. Um, and this produces that range for us. So most of our rockets um, go much further than cannon artillery. And as the Marine Corps sort of shifts to rocket artillery, um, this allows 2MEF to have the capability that 1MEF has been working for um, for quite some time. But now 2MEF is going to be moving very heavy towards rocket artillery. Uh, I think within the next 10 years, we intend to have a full battalion of rocket artillery, whether that be anti-ship or land-to-land -land sort of fires. Yes, yeah, so the transportability of this uh, launcher is, is pretty unique. It, um, it fits on a C-130, which is a fixed-wing aircraft, uh, and that C-130 can land on any airstrip. We push the launcher off, and then within minutes, it is able to receive a fire mission from an uh, operational center that is anywhere from one to 3,000 kilometers away. Uh, and it does that with a lot of the communications technology and then the GPS technology that is requisite with inside the launcher. I am. Sierra Battery has been a, a very good crew. I've been blessed with phenomenal sergeants and lieutenants um, and lance corporals at every level. Uh, we've worked very hard to get to this point, and the Marines are excited, and it's good. Um, but they also know the importance of, of doing this in a, in a safe and efficient manner. So I'm, I'm very proud of this team, and I think they're going to do great. Within Force Design, uh, there's this concept called Expeditionary Advanced Space Operations. Uh, and so when we talk distributed operations, uh, it could be islands, it could be land-based on the continent, it could be uh, in several methods and modes, and the C-130 transportability of the HIMARS launcher allows for a very rapid insertion of, of the HIMARS launcher. Um, and then our extended range allows us to cover a large amount of battle space, so you in basically increase your area of influence with the entire operability of the C-130 added to by the range of the launcher.